Hello there. It's your boy, Tasty Cake. Hairy fish nuts. Happy Saturnalia. Merry Solstice. I am Merry. Merry Solstice. Happy Solstice. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, I got this cool knife from my meat manager. He's awesome. Yoink! Take out a sheath! Yeah, it's gonna hook that into Oh yeah, look at that baby! Ooh. Yes, very heavy. I'm calling very heavy. I'm calling her silence. <clears throat> because I ran out of patience. And so I'm gonna kill him with silence. So thank you, Chris. I greatly appreciate it. I love it. Very hefty, heavy knife. My friends my other friend's big into knives. So I just look for knives, look for knives, like what's the point? I had the tiny little pocket knife beforehand and yeah, it's all somewhere else. Then I graduated to the bigger knives. I had one that had I got from Publishers Clearing House had a box cutter on one side and knife on the other. I got loose and things fell off and then a friend of mine gave me a new one. I said, Wow. The former grocery manager gave me a new one. I don't remember it's somewhere, yeah. And then I got these from online. The ones I carry all the time. Um I usually have another one. Uh Ridge Runners. The Ridge Runner ones, you know. Very inexpensive. I thought I lost mine, but it turns out I found it, so it's, uh, it's the other one. Very, very easy, very, very light. If I could kill that gnat that's flying around there. So it's my my backup. Mine's a scratch up, but it fits in a little pocket. I had to remove the clip. I should have removed the clip a long time ago. I ruined the steering wheel. Because I kept just steering with my legs, you know. I don't do that anymore. The whole, you know, Merry Christmas sun thing. <clears throat> I got my chocolate orange, which we're going to do today. Chocolate orange today. We all know the chocolate orange. Excellent. I've had that. Let's see. I need to... The other day in my drawer... 1940 nickel. You know, silver, baby. 1940, probably Philadelphia Mint. 1957, probably Philadelphia Mint. They don't put, unless it's special, they don't put, any, if it's, a, if it's Del, uh, Denver, they'll put a D on it. But the P's were not prominent back then, and there's no W whatsoever. 1955, another silver nickel. And one of those collector coins, nickels. Oh, shiny, shiny. Oh, nice and beautiful, shiny, shiny. Look at that. Look at that patina. Not patina. That's not patina. I got a lot with patina. This is the, came out of those books. Or did it? Or my nail's freaking dirty. Oh, my God. Scratch, scratch, scratch. This is, uh, yeah, it came from, someone opened, cracked open a case. See, there's sad reality that they had to sell their, they needed money so badly they had to crack open their uh, collector cases. Or someone stole it and cracked open the collector's case. Either way, it's a bit used, you know, sadly. San Francisco Mint. These came from San Francisco Mint. They're all nice and shiny, everything beautiful. So, I got the four nickels, worth at least a dollar, I guess. A uh, customer gave me this as a Christmas present. One of those um, coins you see on TV. Why are you not focusing? Focus. There we go. Liberty coin with the whole um, half troy ounce, 0 0.999, per, 0 0.999 silver ounce, 0.999 pure silver. Pshoo. Yeah, so this is my Christmas gift. 
besides a tip for five dollars from someone else. That was nice. I didn't have a tip. I had a tip jar. It's given to someone else. I had one of those fake million dollar bills in there. <clears throat> I'll open this for next video. Because that wasn't on register. Um, this beautiful green overthrow over. Mm. Ooh. <sighs> Ouch. The throw blankets. Okay. Hey, I'm just going to do live. I don't like doing live because it reverses the image through YouTube. It's so weird. And like... Uh, Co-workers are like Christmas lights. They hang together. Half of them don't work, and the other half aren't so bright. So true. Gotta post that one. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I have the live video is up for like 12 minutes. But, yeah. It's only one of those subscribers looked at my page. They can find it. Let me show you something. Let me pause this and get the move the camera. There we go. Since I always had the Christmas tree up, I did have the tinsel with the little presents I got from Dollar Tree. The little bells. Silver and gold. The robots, you know, toys, kids get free for Christmas. Ornaments. Hello, Clarice. The, amazingly, I found it. Uh, Hanson and Carbonite from Walmart. Little Christmas thing from Walmart. The Dalek I saw left there because it's red. The Christmas droids. And nothing special. I just, you know. This morning was bad enough that I couldn't find a razor. My razor, my disposal razor, the, it just would not cut. It's like trying to find the replacement blade, you know? It's like, hmm. I got a lot of cleaning tomorrow. I had a nice uh, sleep. Give me a second. Boop. I had a nice sleep today because I didn't have to work. So I was like, well, I don't sleep all the way through. You know, I had a dream. I'm sure it was a 14th Doctor. Cause I swear that's what he looked like. And Donna Noble, because the way she looked like now with her bangs and the over, oversized shirt. Not showing off her. And Rose Tyler. It's like we were in a supermarket situation trying to create something. I wrote down notes, but I wrote the notes in the dream. I kissed Rose on top of her head, and I kissed, I said, oh, I kissed Don on her cheek. So I'm not sure if I was a doctor. You know, maybe it was just me. So I'm not counting as a doctor dream. I mean, uh, counting as a dream of me being the doctor in a story. It was kind of like, why are we in a supermarket thing? It wasn't even my supermarket. So, nice rest for me. And there's a term for that, poly... Polyphasic. That's what I saw today on the game show. What's the term for, you know, people constantly taking naps and such? I don't take cat naps. I don't know, but it's still getting considered polyphasic. Because I was trying to wrap my head around again by generation. It means one thing for fourteenth and fifteenth, but to go back, 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 back. I mean, it's uh, first and second, understandable. They had two different outfits. First doctor could be it back on Gallifrey in his garden waiting to regenerate kind of thing oh because novelization back in the day for the 20th anniversary story of the five doctors he was right he was in his garden 
right, to regenerate because this was a time that the Time Lords got involved with the, th the Third Doctor, the Three Doctors, so things changed. So no, it wouldn't have worked. Man. The Two Doctors is believe that this could fit in that the Second Doctor was the clone. That's why he looked. That's why he was older looking. Fourth Doctor, he got older, so that it puts put him in place of being the clone and the other Doctors. But how was this Remembrance TARDIS come about? The Sixth Doctor becoming the curator in the Big Finish, which say he's older, so you know, still regenerating. It's the clone Sixth Doctor. Russell T. Russell T. Davis says the seventh doctor was found in the in the drawer because of the whole uh, TV movie thing. But the others, like, well, how's that logically? Well, not logical, it's all fantasy, but still, like, how does this fit in there with the where did the clones disappear to? And how does that, you know, does the fourth doctor get arrested? Because he took the fifth doctor away to the TARDIS, and do they all have their own TARDISes? Which does not make sense, really, because there's no way they don't have the hammer to do so. And, and you know, do the Time Lords get involved? They can't because you know, they could with the classic ones with the time ring. But the ninth doctor, where does he go? With tenth doctor, where does he go? When the TARDIS. Cr Tardis on fire with the eleventh doctor. It's like, huh? Well, how about that? Eleventh and twelfth say, well, okay. If twelfth doesn't know how to fly a Tardis, does eleventh help him fly the Tardis? And <clears throat> when twelfth generates into thirteenth, like, well, the Tardis spit out the thirteenth doctor and explosions. So what happened to the twelfth doctor? You know, it's things like that. You know, the bi generation does not you know, fit properly with. Past doctors situation. So that's what I'm saying. It's just, you know things you dream up on Christmas. Gotta eat this chocolate. Gotta eat it today. <clears throat> Excuse me. So besides the you know, money, the knife, the chocolate which I'm gonna eat today, the stacks of uh, Cuts a weekly. I should be reading tomorrow. I'm gonna be cleaning because I gotta find stuff to bring down for Christmas. Uh, bring down for my vacation next month. Um, I'm gonna have a piece of candy soon. I don't feel like digging through that thing again, especially dinners in three hours. Then after dinner, I can watch. A church on Ruby Road, because it'll be on da downloaded on Daily Motion. So that's it for my ramblings for this video. Hope everyone is doing all right. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Be safe. Be happy. Be content. Don't let the scumbags put you down. Have a Scooby snack, make you feel better. This was a rocket, Raggy. Rocket, I'm Rosie, rocket, rocket, Raggy. Oh, you gonna kill me, Raggy? You give me rocket, Raggy. Rocket. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. It's Scooby snacks, but it's chocolate. Why are they so mean? The the other one was you know cinnamon. When they released it in the box, this is when it was multi packs. Like, just saying. Chocolate Scooby Snacks, that's just wrong on all levels. So you go, oh look, it's a dog biscuit. If it did a dog, you kill the dog. But it's shaped like a dog biscuit. Well, you're an idiot for giving your kid. That's the fault of the parent. Just saying. As always. So. Yeah. Could have a Jamie Dodger later. I might have a Jamie Dodger later while watching. I, I'll do my review on the church on Ruby Road afterwards. So let's see. One, four, five, six. It'll be uh, 7 o'clock tonight, Eastern, by the time I'm done. So I'm 
we all know about this. You know, it's no big deal. It's just chocolate, chocolate oranges. You know, very delicious stuff. But um, don't I do it, Jamie Dodger? Or just chocolate. I'll probably do this. I'm going to do a review on this later. Yeah. And there's something in my eye. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll do this too. I'm going to do this in a minute. Sure, why not? I never did a review on it, but I'm going to do it soon. So, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Thank you, my 75 subscribers. I'd like to reach 100 before Christmas is completely, well, before the new year begins. Or just in general, because it's awesome. Well, 900 some friends, I would hopefully see at least 899 some friends. Because some of them are just, they have multiple accounts. At least 900 friends subscribe to my page to deal with all my madness and insanity. That'd be nice. That'd be so nice. Such a nice Christmas present. So yeah, Christmas present, 25 people subscribe. On this day of the 25th, 25 people subscribing. That'd be amazing. So, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And always remember, time waits and turns slowly.